was supposed to be like right here. Huh? Yeah. He says to follow him. All right. Good luck. May the force be with you. I don't know what to do. Usually we start talking after the Yoda statue yeah. stops talking. Are the cameras even on? I don't know. I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. I guess while Action Movie Kate is running around trying to find the Yoda statue, let's do the news. Hey, it worked! Sweet! All right. Big news this week coming from the set of episode eight as director Ryan Johnson revealed that the film has officially wrapped shooting. Posted as a video on our Facebook and Twitter feeds, the director shared, final slate of the final shot, eight is officially wrapped, cannot wait to share it with you all. This comes hot on the heels of his appearance at Star Wars Celebration where he revealed that episode eight will start unlike any other Star Wars film by picking up immediately where The Force Awakens left off. December 2017 can't come soon enough. In other news, the results are in for the fan vote for which character from the Star Wars universe will be included in a future wave of Black Series figures. And the winner is... Not Kitster. It's Jaina Solo, Han and Leia's daughter from the Star Wars Legends series of books. But it wasn't just Jaina's figure that was announced this week at Comic-Con. Tons of figures, including new Black Series versions of Hera, a Tusken Raider, Qui-Gon Jinn, older Obi-Wan, the Emperor's Imperial Guard inspired by Crimson Empire, and of course, the smuggler of smooth Lando Calrissian. Very excited <laughs> for that one. Hasbro also announced new three and three quarter inch figures for Grand Admiral Thrawn, Fen Rao from season two of Rebels, Hera in pilot garb with her A-wing, and a radio controlled AT-ACT from Rogue One that walks around using a smartphone. Speaking of Rogue One at San Diego Comic-Con, a brand new character from Rogue One was revealed on the show floor. Edrio Two Tubes, an ally of Saw Gerrera from the planet Yartanga, who, according to information from the Rogue One Comic-Con costume exhibit, is a mercenary pilot with his eggmate, Bethnic. For more information on Edrio Two Tubes and any other Rogue One breaking news, make sure to check out StarWars.com. Finally, since there was so much going on at Comic-Con, and because, if we're being honest, we were just too tired to go after Celebration Weekend, we sent our good friend Matt Leib to the show floor to show off some Star Wars highlights at San Diego Comic-Con. Enjoy. Here we are, check it out. It's the Rogue One costume exhibit. We got Orson Krennic here. We got his entire costume, including the cape. As you'll notice, it's flowing. In the air conditioning, that's an Imperial Death Trooper. He's got full bars on his belt, which means he's got service wherever he goes. Wow, look at it, it's twerking. Ooh, the nose is cold, that's how you know it's healthy. How you doing in there, Rancor? Pretty good. Doing pretty good. Whoa, this thing shot Adam Driver. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> My watch ran out of batteries and I don't know what time it is. You just proposed to Haley in front of all these people? How do you feel? Relieved. And you said? I said yes. <laughs> I would love to be there at your wedding. Well, we've had a great time here at Comic-Con 2016. Signing off for the Star Wars show, this is Matt Lieb. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Just that. You know, none of this is canon. I'm here with Daniel Hashimoto, Action Movie Dad, though you may be more familiar with his son, James, Action Movie Kid, who I think is chasing cheese around somewhere right now. I think so. They're tracking down that yeah. Yoda statue you guys promised me in the front. That's right. We're working on that. We'll. We'll get it here. Thanks for so much for being on the show, by the Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having <laughs> us. It's been a blast. One of the things that I think is so great is that you have been doing visual effects and filmmaking since you were just a since you were just a little guy. You had a Betamax and an Amiga. Yes, I my very first memory is actually of watching Return of the Jedi, where I was fascinated by the fact that you could make these things manifest themselves on film, and so I got really into finding out how they were made. I watched the Star Wars to Jedi making of behind the scenes documentary, which was wonderful. I didn't me to go into visual effect filmmaking and 
I've done it for the last 25 years. So Star Wars has been there the whole time. Absolutely. I used to make goofy stop motion Star Wars shorts with little toys and anything that I could find and miniatures and bad costumes. As opposed to now where you just follow James around with the phone. It's been so great. And you're making movies. Yeah, everyone is walking around with a great camera capable of way more than anything that we used to have when we were kids. Yeah. It's such a common thing now. You go onto you go onto Facebook or whatever social media and everyone's you know, posting their videos of their kids. Absolutely, and that's basically the thing that got us into this. We yeah. were, a lot of our friends were posting videos of their kids on Facebook, and we had just had James, and he was really wonderful, and we had home videos of him, and so I thought, I'll combine these two passions a little bit. I'll try to put out fake home videos of James doing dangerous things so all of our <laughs> friends can get a good giggle out of it. And you also got to go to Star Wars Celebration last year. That was the last time we saw you. Yeah, last yeah. year Lucasfilm was kind enough to invite us down to the celebration, which was a lot of fun. We got to let James run around, and hopefully you've seen some of the fun things he got to do there. And so the last time we saw you at Star Wars Celebration, James hadn't actually seen a Star Wars film yet. Yes, he had not. He knew the Star Wars stories only as these bedtime stories that I would tell him every night. I would break up all of the original trilogy into five-minute stories and tell him a little bit about the adventure every time. And then finally, shortly after the convention, actually, we watched the first Star Wars. And it was tremendous, and he had a great reaction to Han flying in and saving Luke at the very end, and he really got into the film. And it was exciting for him to finally see all of these things and characters come to life in this really wonderful way. So what do we have to look forward to on, on Action Movie Kid? Well, it is really hard for us to separate Star Wars from our lives these days. Everything that we do reminds us of some fun adventure of them, and I think it's because they're such relatable stories, and so everywhere you are, both things visually and adventure is all around, and Star Wars keeps on being involved, and so you're going to see a lot more Star Wars videos come out. And also, uh, somewhere in the background, a feature film is being worked on for Action Movie Kid, which will be really fun and I have no details to share but uh, yeah it should be no really that's fun. awesome I'm looking forward to it I'm gonna I'm gonna stay tuned to the channel Dad, we think we found Yoda. what where follow me okay uh, well it's been nice uh, yeah see you guys well I guess that's the end of the interview check out action movie kid on YouTube and stick around for more Star Wars show Yoda we were looking for you all day oh but I'm just about to win you should let the Wookiee win Good idea! Wahoo! Well, that was an interesting episode. Who knew the Yoda statue had thrusters under it? Right? Oh, this was just what I needed coming off a of Star Wars celebration. And speaking of celebration, last week we asked you to share some of your favorite memories with us. Like Stuart Spark, who shared his memories of trying to bribe Gareth Edwards for a wristband into his panel, and failing, and being in the audience for the Star Wars show live for most of the weekend. Rebel Legion CZ shared this photo of some of their members in cosplay, while Chameleon Cost shared this photo of her meeting with Dave Filoni in her Ahsoka costume. Ian V. Gardner shared this video on Instagram of Ray Park showing off his mad lightsaber skills, and Eggman Studios posted a pic of this awesome BB-8 diorama. But a lot of you, including myself, said that their favorite celebration moment was when you, Andy, got to meet Carrie Fisher in yeah, person. That was insane. It was such a great surprise. It I was. had no idea that was going to happen. I can't believe they pulled that off. So good. <sighs> it was an incredible time, and we cannot wait to do it again next year in Orlando. Finally, this week, because it was Comic-Con, and Comic-Con is all about cosplay, mm -hmm. we want to see your best Star Wars cosplay. It can be from Comic-Con, Celebration, Halloween, whenever, wherever. We just want to see your best Star Wars costumes on display. Just be sure to use the hashtag SWSCosplay cosplay and we'll show our favorites here next week. Thanks for watching. Yippee!